Today I'm going to review the DC Cargo 8 foot silver e-track rail and they come in a variety of different sizes so you don't just have to get 8 foot. I happen to get 8 foot because I did the e-track on this 14 foot by 82 inch wide uh, cargo trailer. So I'll show you how I went ahead and installed my e-track on this trailer. Let's start with a few measurements. I've got this one flipped upside down and you can see that you're looking at about four and seven eighths wide from the bottom side to the bottom side there. When you measure in between the slots, you're looking at two inches in between dead center to dead center. So they're going to fit universally. Here's a bunch of uh, accessories that I've picked up over the years and all of these universal uh, e-track accessories fit. You know, you got a D-ring, you got an O-ring for two by fours. There's a wheel chalk for a motorcycle, you know, the strap. All of that stuff's gonna fit in this E-Track, no problem. And I purchased eight foot lengths. So you can see from the start there, if you follow that, all the way down to here, that's where my eight foot ended. So then I just cut another one in half and added that on to make my final length down that side so to cut the e-track i just used a grinder not a problem at all if you come back over here and look at the cuts you just cut down the center of one of those so same thing here again i bought a five pack so i laid it all out came up here to where my cut would be cut down the center no problem at all for attaching the e-track, I used both through bolts and lag bolts. Now the lag bolts are inch and a half and the through bolts are two and a half inches and they're both quarter inch. So I did a combination of the through bolts as well as lag bolts to connect it. It was very easy to install. Anybody can do it basic tools to do your installation. For connecting the e-track across the center where I put my wheel chocks for my motorcycles, this is where I went ahead and dropped the through bolts down and used the washers and nuts to really give it a good connection point. You can see across the front of the trailer what I did is I came along in there and I used the combination of through bolts and lag bolts, but I made sure to get through bolts into each and every board. So each board has at least a couple of through bolts along with the lag bolts. Then coming down the side here, I made sure that I had through bolts that go down and catch that uh, rail underneath. So the frame underneath, I've got through bolts all the way down the side here. I'll show you that right now. So here's a through bolt that's catching the frame there from the board up above. And then there's a through bolt right next to that. Then you're going to have a series of lag bolts that take you. But then you can see here again, there's a through bolt and up here is a couple of more through bolts so i'm catching the frame all the way down the outside a couple of things that i really liked about the dc cargo uh silver e-track rail system is that it's heavy duty solid galvanized steel construction so they're using an industrial grade steel this stuff is really really heavy i'll probably be connecting this cutoff right here in the very back of the trailer uh, and that'll probably complete my installation so again if you're going to use a if you're doing an entire trailer i like that eight foot five pack uh, very good value very easy to install 
Final thoughts are, I found the DC Cargo E-Track to be a great value, a great quality product, and certainly a good buy. I would personally buy it again. Well, I hope this review has helped you out. If you're thinking about doing E-Track on your trailer, I highly recommend it. Been running E-Track on my trailers for years, and I love it. I wouldn't be without it. Obviously, I just bought this new trailer, just put the new E-Track on it loving it so hey i appreciate you tagging along and do me a favor hit that like button and if you haven't already subscribe check out some of my other reviews and we'll see you on the next one